So today I'm talking about a P0220 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0220 code? Well, it's a throttle pedal position sensor switch B circuit. And so what does this mean? And well, basically engines have what's called a throttle body and the throttle body is controlling all the air that goes into the engine and it's controlling how much air is going into the engine with this butterfly plate. Because when throttle bodies were first introduced, they used to have a cable that went down to the gas pedal and when you pressed on the gas pedal, it pulled on that cable and would open up this plate inside of the throttle body, which would let in more air. But in modern vehicles, they got rid of that cable that goes down to the pedal and they replaced it with this electronic system called an electronic throttle control system. And basically how this works is that there's going to be a sensor that's down on the gas pedal that's reporting to the computer how far down that gas pedal's pressed. This computer can have different names. It could be called a throttle actuator control module, or sometimes it's built into the PCM, the powertrain control module. But either way, basically there's a computer controlling the whole system. At the throttle body, there's going to be a small little DC motor that depending on the voltage going to it, is going to open and shut that plate that's inside of there. And there's also what's called a throttle position sensor that's reporting back to the computer how open that plate is, that if it is opening and if it's in the right location. But when you get this P0220 code, the computer's seeing a problem inside of this system, and so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0220 code? Well, the first thing to do whenever you're dealing with a throttle body is that if you can, is go look at that plate inside of there and be sure it doesn't look like it's really dirty or have a lot of buildup on it or anything like this. Because while this code is pointing towards a circuit issue, when these throttle bodies get a lot of dirt and buildup on them, and they can throw off all these sensors and cause codes and things like this. So the first thing I would do, I'd go look at that throttle body, be sure it doesn't look like it's really dirty. If it does look really dirty, you could buy what's called throttle body air intake cleaner. Basically, you just spray down in there. You can use a little rag and maybe a small toothbrush or something like that and just clean it up real good. One thing to note is that if you do clean up the throttle body with that throttle body air intake cleaner, when you first start up the engine, it might run badly for the first 30 seconds to a minute until it burns all that cleaner away. But after that, it should run better because a dirty throttle body can't cause issues. The next thing that could cause is that there is some kind of wiring problem. There's like an open, there's a short, a blowing fuse, something along those lines. So if you can, it's a good idea to go check out the wiring. Sometimes these little pins, they don't make good contacts. There are different things like that. But keep in mind that there's a bad wire in there that has an open or anything like this, then that's gonna cause problems. Also, it's a good idea to go check for any blowing fuses. How the fuse is labeled can be different depending on the vehicle and the manufacturer. For example, here's a 2015 Corolla, and Toyota very commonly labels the fuse ETCS, or Electronic Throttle Control System. Here's another example of a 2012 Chevy Silverado, and it's going to be fuse number five, ECM Throttle Control. So again, it's going to be different how the fuse is labeled, but be sure there's no blowing fuses going on. You can also get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle. There will be differences depending on the year, the make, the model, things like this. It's very common for these systems to have five volts inside of them. So if there is some kind of wiring issue going on and you find the correct pins going into the plug, then you can put the key in the on position and you can check and be sure that you're getting five volts going to the circuit. You can also check and be sure you got a good ground along with the wires going back to the computer and things along these lines. Again, there will be differences. So you will have to get a wiring schematic for your particular vehicle. But if you can and you have a multimeter, you can go and check the wiring and be sure it's good. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's a bad sensor. And usually you're going to have two sensors. You're going to have a sensor down on the gas pedal, and you're going to have a sensor up at the throttle body. The sensor down on the pedal is usually located right up on it. These are usually all combined into one component, and it's going to be called the accelerator pedal position sensor. And then there's also going to be a sensor located up at the throttle body called the throttle position sensor. So there's some different ways to go about testing these sensors. If you have a multimeter, you can use that. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you can also use that. I made some videos on this and how you go about testing them. I'll put a link down below in the description box if you need to check that out. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad accelerator position sensor or a bad throttle position sensor. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And this can be a dedicated computer called a throttle actuator control module. Or it could be built into another computer like the engine control module or the powertrain control module or something like that. But basically it is possible that there's some kind of issue going on with the computer. If you do think you have a bad computer, be sure to check out the wiring going to it. Be sure everything looks like it's plugged in good. You can also check and be sure that it's got good power going to it. There's no dead battery or anything like that. All these computers also need a good ground wire going to them, or that could throw them off and cause issues. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0220 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. 
If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.